the mysterious guest. I'm telling you, there's no way you can do it. You're a leopard. And leopards don't fly. But that's only because leopards don't have any wings. Or at least, not before today. Leo, what exactly do you need those wings for? What do you mean, what for? Come on, let's fly with the eagles. We'll be able to see the whole taiga. Aw, oh, Tig, come along with me. No, 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 no. I already flew with the eagles once before. That was plenty. If you say so, I'm going to fly. <laughs> You see, I told you so. Leopards don't fly. Maybe my wings are a little too small. I need some bigger leaves. Leo, stop picking leaves, would you? Let's just go and play. Tig, you go. I'll go later. All right, come and play after you're done flying. <laughs> My feathered friend. Wow. Would you look at that? Tig, Tig, wait up. Oh, Leo, did you fly already? Tig, guess what I saw just now in the sky. It was huge, with big wings. Was it an owl? No, it wasn't an owl. No way. It was this big thing that was flying and made of wood, and it landed just over there. <laughs> You're kidding me. You saw a wooden bird? You're too much, Leo. You spend too much time daydreaming about flying. You don't believe me? OK, fine. I'll go and find it all by myself. Wow! There it is! The wooden bird! Yeah! This is definitely much better than leaves. Interesting. I wonder who made it. Whoa! Oh, and what's this? Footprints? They're so weird! Whose are they? What's this? What's this I smell now? It smells like a leopard cub. Hmm, and something else. Ah, something else new. Something that smells truly delicious. Tig, hurry up already. Come on, it's my turn now. Uh-huh, hold on, just a little more. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Tig, <sighs> you've been on the swing forever. We want a turn. There you are. I have something to tell you all. You'll never guess what I saw. A big bird made out of wood. It was gigantically huge. It was flying in the hold sky. Hold on, hold on. A giant flying bird made of wood. Ugh. Wait. Leo saw that as well. But I didn't believe him. Really? Where's Leo anyway? He went to the swamp to look for that big flying thing. He said that it went over there. In the swamp? Mama just told me that he was in the swamp and he saw the wolf. The wolf? Leo's there all by himself. Hurry, let's run. We have to warn Leo. Leo, Leo, wait. <laughs> hey, <gasps> hi there. <gasps> That was awesome! What a big jump! Who are you? Uh, what do you want from me? Well, nothing. I'm Leo. I just saw your thing with wings flying in the sky. Why were you crying? I wasn't crying, okay? <laughs> we, monkeys of the Guardian Tribe, never ever cry. Hmm, who do we have here? Hmm. Little animal. Something that smells very appetizing. 
It isn't my old friend. That's <laughs> meeting you here. Ah. Hurry, run! Ah. You're not getting away this time. <laughs> oh. ah. This way, jump up here. <laughs> What's wrong? Can't you climb up? <laughs> Maybe not, but I can chew. So, you mean that chubby boar, the tasty weasel, the lynx, and the tiger cub? <gasps> ah. ah, that's excellent news. Oh no! Tig! Mila! Uh, do you think your friends can scare him off? We'll have to warn them! Lara! Koopa! Stay far <laughs> away from there! <laughs> you louder leopard cub! Then they'll get here even faster. <laughs> what do we do? I'll go and warn them. By the way, my name is Lily. <laughs> oh, huh? no matter. She probably won't taste good anyway. <sighs> but I won't let this leopard cub get away from me. Uh. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> This is it! It's the big wooden bird! That's the big thingamajig. But where's Leo? Well, maybe whoever flew this thing was the one who captured him. <sighs> <sighs> okay, come clean. Where did you take Leo? Um, um, give up! <laughs> You're going to break a tooth! <laughs> they say that eating a leopard is very bad luck. Whoever eats one loses all his fur. Huh? It's true. It's better to be hungry than bald. Ah! 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 Hold on, ah! Leo. Huh? We're coming. Uh. Ah! Uh, look, Tim. We're flying. Leo, hop on. Sorry, I should have believed you when you told me. It's okay. What matters is that we're flying! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay then, so tell us, Lily, how did you end up in our forest? Uh, I sort of made a mistake. Since ancient times, our tribe of monkeys have guarded the treasure of the jungle. But one day, someone started hunting the treasure, and they almost stole it. So my father, the Monkey King, decided to hide the treasure of the jungle in a secret place, on an island along a raging river. The only way you could get there is by flying over. And so, my father built a big flying ship. And I... I really wanted to try it out. So one night, when everyone was asleep, I climbed in and took off. I just wanted to try it out. But then, there was a huge hurricane. The wind swept me up and carried me along for days. It only just died down today. But I had to find a place where I could land the flying ship because I couldn't turn it around by myself. And now all because of me, my home is in danger. <laughs> and so is the treasure. It's all my fault. <laughs> oh, don't be sad, dear little monkey. I think that I know a way to get you to your home. Really? Which way do I need to go? I've heard it said that the tribe of the little monkeys reside far, oh, so far to the south. You would have to fly for several days, so the morning sun is always shining down on you. As long as you travel with true friends, you will be safe, no matter where your journey takes you. But where am 
I supposed to find true friends? <sighs> Who's gonna want to fly with me? We'll fly with you. Won't we, guys? Yeah, we'll go. let's go. Listen, Lily, what kind of treasure is this treasure? It's a secret. Only the tribal elders know what it is. The only thing I know is that it supposedly works miracles. It could work miracles for me. That treasure's gonna be mine. We gotta get over there. Do you hear me? We gotta go. Before the spots and stripes get it, we gotta get over there. Spike, but tell me, how are we gonna do that? How do you think? By flying. <laughs> the guiding arrow. <laughs> okay, the first one to finish tying a knot can be the captain. It's going to be me, no doubt about it. I'm starting to think that there's something wrong with my rope. <laughs> Tig, you're not going to be the captain. Oh. Look, guys, it's easy. Just watch me. Put this end here, like that, and then look. Ta-da! <laughs> you're all done. Wow, that's awesome. Whoa, look at that. How did you learn to tie a knot? My dad told me, be strong and overcome an obstacle. <laughs> but be wise, you'll last the whole journey. <laughs> Don't even start. Hey, you guys, we made sure to only pack our essentials. Uh... Pass the ends to me. Hee! Okay, here we go. It won't take off. <sighs> yeah, we've got too much stuff on board. <laughs> Only bring the things that you absolutely need. You mean like this? I'm not going anywhere without soap root. Or what do you think, that I'm going to allow myself to turn into a piglet? <laughs> oh, sorry, Kuba. I didn't mean it like that. It was just a figure of speech, I swear. <sighs> Better not touch Kuba right now. He's feeling down. Remember the pig, Lada? She moved to another forest with her brothers and sisters. Hey, guys! <laughs> what do we need that for, huh? We can give it to the monkeys when we arrive. A gift from the taiga spirit to their spirit. We can't be their guest and show up empty-handed. They're really going to love it. We'll take it with us. But... No buts allowed. There's only one rule on this ship. Everyone has to listen to the captain. And as it happens, the captain of the ship is me. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, take a look, it's Kino. Look at that technique. Did you see how I taught you? Of course. You're amazing. <laughs> I can see that you're flying now, too. Yeah, we're all flying. We're traveling far away. That's great. The key is not to get lost. You do know how to fly back to your home, don't you? Uh, well, not really. How do you do it? I always know where I am. I don't look. I am an eagle. We birds all have a special sense of direction. Do you have something like that too? Nope. We don't have anything like that. Stop! Stop the oars! We're not going anywhere until we know exactly how we're getting back again. Or we'll end up lost like Lily. Hmm. I know who can help you. Magnetic rivers. They're invisible. And yet, they flow all around the planet, flowing from the north to the south. We bird folk are able to feel their currents. We don't have that sense of direction, so is there any way that we can see these flowing invisible rivers? Hmm, yes, there is a little trick. Our Earth is just like a great big ball. 
It is so enormous that we are all pulled toward it. That's called gravity. That's why none of us fall off of it. However, in the taiga, there is a secret spot that's hidden away, where there's absolutely no gravity to be found. And that's because of the magical black stone. But reaching the stone won't be easy. No, but if someone manages to break off even the smallest little piece, they'll see that the magical black stone piece will always be pointing from north to south. No matter how you turn it or where you face it, if you do that, it will surely become the guiding arrow. Well, we've got to find that guiding arrow. Then we definitely won't get lost on our way home. Then let's go find that stone. Hey, guys, <gasps> can I go along with you? No, huh? it's much too dangerous. And anyway, the captain must never abandon the ship. But... Uh... No buts allowed. You see? And you wanted to be the captain. Sometimes it's not so much fun. You're right. We would have to stay on the ship. We would have missed out on all the adventuring. We've searched half the taiga, but we still haven't found anything yet. How are we supposed to find the secret spot? Oh, who's there? Oh, Phil! You really startled me, huh? I've been alive for a hundred years, and this is the first time I've ever startled anyone. A hundred years? Wow. Then maybe you know where we can find the... Hey! Hey, hey! What? Who's there? It's me again. Tig, can you help us out? We're trying to find the traveling stone. And you won't be able to find it. It will only appear when the stones become light. Oh, and when they... Oh. Tig, you hear that? She just said that when the stones become light and when they... But... She didn't say when they what. Who's there? Please excuse me. When they what? When who does what? When will the traveling stone show itself? It will only show itself once somebody melts his heart of stone with the sweet sounds of harmony. Oh. Excuse me, Auntie Turtle. We won't bother you anymore, I promise. Just tell us where to go to find these weightless rocks. We really need your help. The midday shadow of a stone birch tree. Oh, knows where. The midday shadow of a stone? Wait, what? Of a birch stone tree. I know exactly where it grows. And it's noon already. We need to hurry. <sighs> Yeah. Tig, look, it's the birch stone tree. Follow me. Yeah. But where are the weightless rocks? Maybe there isn't any such thing as weightless rocks. Maybe it's all a fairy tale. I, I mean, how can stones even fly? Actually, they can. Look at this. Ha <laughs> ha! Hooray! We found it. We finally found the magic black stone. <laughs> now we just have to break off a piece. And I know how. Huh. <laughs> ha! See that? I'm riding a floating stone. Wow. But wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> hey. Um. It looks like we got ahead of ourselves. The magic black stone is pushing all the other rocks away from each other. We'll never be able to reach them. But the turtle told us, somebody must melt his heart of stone with the sweet sounds of harmony. Remember when you threw a stone and it fell and...
Look at that! Ha! We did it! The Guiding Arrow! Well then, did you find the Magnetic Arrow? We, we did! did. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. So now, you will always be able to find your way back home without ever getting lost. Thanks, Thanks so much, Grandpa Eagle. Eagle. Of course. <laughs> it's time for every one of you to all fly the nest, my little ones. Release the moo rings. Lower the rudder. Raise the wings. Full steam ahead. Fly away, my nestlings. Let's do it. <laughs> Spread your wings. But never forget that we love you and we'll be waiting for you right here. I'm really going to miss them, Grandpa. I'll hold on to the guiding arrow, okay, Leo? Why do you get it? Because I found it. And you're only the first mate. Why not me? I was there too. I helped to solve the riddle. But I found a turtle and she told us everything. Thanks to me, we found it. Hey, what about me? That's a good job. Keep going, go, keep going. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Who What kind of a bird are you? <laughs> Spike, what can I do? This thing still won't take flight. We're gonna figure it out. <laughs> These wings don't work. We need new ones. New ones? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of bird? What kind of bird? I think <laughs> we found ourselves some new wings. <laughs> <laughs> Lost. The rudder ready? It's all set. Where's the lookout? Right here! Perfect! Deckhand, are the supplies ready? Oh no, guys! We haven't got any supplies left. Kuba ate it. That's okay. We'll get some more. Ah! <laughs> I could really go for a delicious little rabbit. <laughs> Or maybe a little mouse. <laughs> Remember, we have some supplies back there, but we can't go alone, or the vulture will catch us. <laughs> <laughs> Lily doesn't know anything about our forest. You know, she could get into real trouble. Hey, nothing's gonna happen to her. We'll all be together. When it comes to the taiga, I'm an expert. I know every blade of grass. I know every bush. Uh, I, I fell on purpose, you know, to show you one has to be careful. Also, watch out for the pine tree roots. They might trip you up. Look. <laughs> you know, around here, I'm basically a king. The others call me Tiger, King of the Taiga. Huh? But be careful under the cedar trees. Hey. <laughs> I haven't been to this part before. Take, I'm not used you're to so it. Funny. I usually take a different route. I could go for. A tadpole, or maybe, maybe a little mouse. Huh? Now that looks like lunch. Hey, don't you worry. You don't have to be afraid when you're with me, okay? Lily? Hey, do don't eat that. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lily? Me. Lily? Let me go. Oh. No chance. Hello, hi there. I'm Rick Rog. Oh my, hi. you're really fluffy. Can I pet uh, you? Hey, keep your hooves off of me. <laughs> All right then. You want some grass? 
Why aren't you eating? It's juicy. All right, then, not hungry. What are you doing here anyway? Do you need some help? I've never seen cats around here before. I'm not a cat. I mean, does Vulture live up here? He's over there. Over where? You're sure that you don't want any grass? Try it. It's delicious. Uh, thanks. How about I take some with me for the road? I'm in a hurry. Lily is in big danger. <laughs> it's time for a delicious feast. It's my lucky day. I'm not lunch. I'm Lily. Hey, you mean you're still complaining? Ah, well then, I guess that today's lunch menu includes something quite exotic. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to call my friend. <laughs> Sit here and be quiet. I said be quiet! <laughs> Goodness! I didn't know goats could climb so easily. Only mountain goats. There's a whole legend about it. I'll tell you the tale, my striped fluffy friend. It goes like this. It was a long time ago. We mountain goats used to live in the forest. We had a fearless leader with great big horns, almost like mine. One day, we gathered in the meadow to celebrate the birthday of our fearless leader. We were busy celebrating when all of a sudden a forest fire began. The leader's advisor warned him about the fire, but he didn't want to end the celebration. He had hoped that the fire would burn on the other side, but no one tells a fire where a fire should burn. The flames surrounded the goats on all sides, but what could the goats do? There was only one way out, up the mountain in the middle of the forest. However, the goats couldn't climb it. The leader turned toward the mountain. He started to complain about the dry trees, after all, they're to blame for what happened. If they weren't so dry, then they wouldn't have caught on fire. So he asked for help, but the mountain didn't respond. So the leader thought, who else is to blame? Aha, the leader said, it's the wind who's to blame for the fire. It blew the flames toward us, but the mountain didn't respond. The fire was getting closer and closer. They could feel it getting hotter. Then the leader finally said, I know, okay. I'm the one to blame for everything, you know? I really wanted to hear the goats celebrating me and so I didn't tell them about the fire. Help me to help my herd, please, he said. And if you want, I'll even stay right here. And then the mountain helped the goats climb up. It gave us the ability to climb any mountain and we were all led to safety. We haven't left the mountain ever since. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want some grass? Do you need some help? Hold on tight, kitty cat! I'm not a cat! Whoa! Uh, ooh, whoa. Uh. Oh. Uh. Here, this is the final stop. You're on your own now. Huh? Want some grass? Why would we want grass? Uh, We're having ourselves uh, an exotic lunch. So get lost. Are you sure you don't want any grass? No, we don't. Well then, you can taste this, birds. Yeah. Oh, 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 o
Yeah. I really wanted to have an exotic lunch. Let's get out of here. You haven't heard the last of us. <sighs> Thank you, Rick Rog. <laughs> no worries, my striped fluffy friend. Tick, I'm sorry that I that we Lily. I wasn't watching. I let you down. I'm sorry, too. Will you forgive me? <laughs> Anybody want some grass? Try it. It's delicious. Where were you guys? And why didn't you get any supplies? Uh, um... It was all my fault. Well, to be honest, I... Uh... Anyone want some grass? What are we, goats? Chewing on grass? <laughs> Don't worry, we got a lot of supplies. Let's go. <laughs> to the ship! To the ship! <laughs> so tell me, are there really a lot of mice, Spike? A lot of mice? There's gonna be mountains of mice! Yeah, for real! Mountains! Hoot, hoot. Uh, uh, are, there, are there lots of fish? It'll be overflowing with fish! Hoot, 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 hoot. Here we go! The spot of the won't get away with it this time! Hoot, the monkeys hoot, are finally gonna hoot, be ours! Hoot, <laughs> hoot, <laughs> hoot, <laughs> hoot, <laughs> the monkeys will be ours! Cry, Melky. The spots and stripes flew somewhere over this way. That means the treasure's gotta be nearby. But we're already out of food. Uh, this is the last berry we have. That's the last one. Give it to me. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 no! What's going no. on? <laughs> uh, beautiful land. I told you, didn't I? Come on, my feathered friend. There's plenty to eat just up ahead. <laughs> 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 Oh, mice! Happy haunting! <laughs> <laughs> land! Land! Beautiful land! Oh, 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 how I missed you, land! Hold on! Spots and stripes have to be somewhere nearby. <laughs> Who are you? You fell right out of the sky. What are you running from? But, 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 but running? We're not running. Nope. Not running. You just said spots and stripes have to be somewhere nearby. Who are they? And why are you afraid of them? Wait, uh, afraid? Us? Oh, oh, why, yes, of course we're afraid. Spots and stripes are, uh, they're, uh, uh they're horrible monsters. Worse than you. Hmm? Uh, I mean, you're better. Uh, they kidnapped our entire family. Uh, everyone, and uh, now they're hunting me. And my brother. Right, little bro? Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> poor little us. Oh, poor us. Poor us. <laughs> Milky? What's up? Poor us. Oh, yeah. Poor uh, us. Oh, oh, yes. Poor oh, us. Poor oh, miserable so little happy. creatures. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hmm. We'll be more than happy to take you in and give you some food. Come along with us. <laughs> so go on and tell us more about the monsters you spoke of, the Spots monster and the Stripes monster. Well, well, they're, uh, they're, uh, I mean, they're, uh, uh, blah. Wow, big eggs! Um, I'm, do, do those eggs taste good? Do they taste good? Are you being serious? 
Those eggs are platypus eggs. Those eggs hold our future children. Uh, no, 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 no. You misunderstood him, your platypusness. What he meant was that the Spots monster and the Stripes monster really love delicious eggs for lunch. Yeah, lunch. And dinner as well. And breakfast also. What? But they wouldn't dare. Yes, beware the Spots and Stripes. It would be best if you attack them first. These monsters are going to regret ever stepping foot near our great village. Right, my platypus friends? Yeah, we won't let anyone take away our children. Well, we gotta go. Thanks for your hospitality, Toodles. Toodles. Come on, brother. Come on, come on, little Hey, guys. We need to go on a mission for reconnaissance. Great idea, Martik. In the meantime, we'll build a shelter for tonight. Tig, let's go. Where are you going? With you, to do reconnaissance. <laughs> Martik, you're too young for reconnaissance. Why don't you go and help the girls? La, 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 la. We're discovering a world of miracles, and we cannot That's wait. That's not fair. I want to go on a reconnaissance mission, too. I mean, after all, it was my idea. Cuba, we'll show them. You and me are not little babies. Come on. I wonder, do you think there are any monsters out here? Whew. Now that I've stretched my legs, I'm ready. Huh, huh. I'm ready to fight them. Huh. Hey, is anybody here? Hello? Where is everyone? monster. They fit the description. They're really small for monsters, though. Hey, who are you calling a monster? Us? I think they're still children. Hey, let, let us, us go, go already. already. Hey. It's disappeared. One of the eggs has disappeared. Did you steal one of our eggs? We didn't steal anyone's eggs. They must have hit it. Where is it? Confess. You're not getting out of that cage until you tell us where the egg is, you monsters. We didn't steal anybody's eggs. Kuba, we have to find that egg somehow. But where do we find a missing oot, egg? Oot, oot, mice. <laughs> mice. Whoa, I know him. That silly villain from our forest. But what's he doing here? Let's follow him. <laughs> uh, stealing their eggs! What a brilliant idea! Yes, it was! Yes, it was! <laughs> I'm a genius! <laughs> <laughs> now, spots and stripes will leave us alone. <laughs> it seems like local mice don't want me to find their hiding places. Well, if you say so, then let's keep flying! <laughs> the treasure awaits us. Of course! It all makes sense now. You keep them here. I'll bring back the ones with the beaks. Huh? Wait, wait, who's over there? <laughs> it's Kuba. Get him. He's all alone. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Spike, what do we need a four for? Uh, I guess you're right, huh? <laughs> Hey, Billy! Come on, let's move! Get out of here! <laughs> hey, we're overloaded! What are you doing? Get out of here, Kuba! Yeah, go away! Look, there's your way! Aha! Get those imposters! <laughs> Thank 
you so much, brave Martik and courageous Kuba. You saved our children. Please forgive our rudeness. Your enemies managed to deceive us. Martins can be like that. But how did they get here? Can you please tell us exactly where here is? Everything is so strange and so different. And you are all so interesting. Yeah, well back where we come from, only the birds have beaks like that. We're surprised to see you as well. But there's no need to be alarmed. There is an ancient legend that long, long ago, the land was once one. And it was surrounded on all sides by vast oceans. The ancient earth had all kinds of different animals and birds. Some were like you, and some were like us. Yet they all lived together, and nothing ever came between them. But then, disaster struck, and the earth split apart. Parts of the earth floated away on the world's ocean. You floated to the north, and then became Eurasia. Well, we platypuses stayed on this piece of land, which is called Australia. So that means this is Australia? <laughs> what are the Martins doing in Australia? Villain, you keep flying. The treasure's nearby. <laughs> 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 Bad luck. Again. I'm not playing this game anymore. <laughs> look, look. Cuba found Spike again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Spike can't hide to save his life. What? <laughs> what do you mean can't hide? Well, I'll show you how to hide. That means you too, little piggy. <laughs> it's a black frog. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you know? Running into a black frog is bad luck. Bad luck, I'm telling you. <laughs> a black frog! Stop! Stop! Don't move! <gasps> back! Back, I say! Uh, back! Uh, run away! Run away! Oh, big deal. A black frog. So what? It's just a superstition. We don't believe in such things. Okay, we gotta go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look. Isn't she a darling? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You guys know nothing about being fabulous. Cuba? Are you all right? Leo, what if this thing is actually for real? What are you talking about? A black frog hopped on Cuba. 
And Spike said that this is bad luck for him. A black frog? Hmm. Huh. Actually, there is a story I heard before. It's of the spooky swamp monster. <laughs> In a dark and gloomy forest, in a spooky, noxious swamp, there once dwelled the evil, wicked swamp monster. <laughs> and it was bringing nothing but misery to every creature in the forest. So the kind spirit of the taiga chose to punish the swamp monster. And he turned it into an eerie black frog. But even as a frog, the inhabitants of the forest could not rest, for the swamp monster continued his reign of terror, bringing bad luck to all who crossed his path. <laughs> So it means Cuba is going to be <laughs> Don't get yourselves worked up. They say that the curse only works for just one day. If nothing happens to Cuba overnight, then you don't have to worry about a thing. See? Relax. Nothing will happen to him. Together? We'll protect him. Tig, keep your eyes peeled. I will, Leo. By the way, I just remembered one more sign of bad luck. Cuba, spit it out! One of their last years! Everyone knows this fact. The one who eats last year's acorn will have an oak tree grow out of his head! I heard this from Magpie. So, Cuba, you better play it safe. You'll eat tomorrow. Cuba! Cuba! Cuba, you can't roll in the mud! Did you know that there are evil spirits there? That's it. They must be hiding in there for sure. <laughs> Tomorrow, the bad luck will wear off for sure. We just have to survive the night is all. Yeah, and I know a safe place right around here. <laughs> Bravo, Tig! You found us a pretty good cave. Nothing bad is going to happen to Cuba here. You got that right. Did you hear the story about the cave monster? Nope, Tig. And then the monster suddenly jumps out. Cuba! 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 Wait! Cuba! Wait! Cuba!
The Black Frog Curse must be real. He's doomed to sit in this pit till the end of time, huh? Tig, we need to ask Mappa Pandiga for help. All right. The Black Frog, you say? Well, yes. It brings bad luck. Please tell me how a small, tiny little frog could have driven Cuba into a pit. Well, it wasn't the frog. He did it himself. He got scared to death and... Well, who scared him that much then? Yes, uh, who indeed? Why are you looking at me like that? Tig? I think all our stories may have scared the living hooves out of Cuba. Oh. Oh, oh. kids. With your good intentions, you trampled a path for your friend right to a pit. You know what? Because of all these bad luck signs, even I started to get spooked. We're sorry, Cuba. How about some hide and seek? <laughs> That's bad luck for sure. Tig! I hope those aren't last year's acorns. Tig! Aw, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already fed up with this snow. Tig, it suits you. Spring is over, and it's still freezing. Uh-huh. I really miss all that sunshine, too. <laughs> and I miss the flowers. Come out, sunshine. Where did you go? <laughs> I'm sure it will come out just for you. There once was someone in the taiga who the sun listened to. <gasps> really? Tell us more, Mappa. Come along with me, kids. The Sun Folk. Look at that! Awesome! Mappa, who are they? This is the Sun Folk. What kind of folk? Sun Folk. These animals lived in the taiga a long time ago. It is said that they descended from the sun itself. In cold times, when the sun used to stop giving warmth to the earth, they used to send the Chosen One the strongest and fastest one in their tribe, to talk to the forefather and ask him to turn up the heat. And the son listened to him. But, Mappa Pandiga, how did they talk to the sun? It's so high up. There is a valley of geysers behind the quick river and the big swamp. And in the valley lies the magical sunstone. They used it to communicate. Mappa, where are these sun folks right now? Nobody knows. Some say they left these parts a long time ago. But others believe that the sun folk is still among us. They just forgot about where they came from. There, look. To me, this chosen one looks like Leo, don't you think? <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> he does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kids. Let's get going. It's getting chilly. <laughs> <Whee>! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Leo! Leo, stop sitting around. Come play tag with us. Tig, I still can't get the Sun Folk story out of my head. <laughs> Try to think on the run. It will warm you up a lot. Just listen for a sec. What if I, I mean, leopards are the Sun Folk? And I'm the Chosen One. You? The Chosen One? Why not? You said yourself that the one from the picture looks a lot like me. Well, he does. It means I have to go to the Valley of the Geysers and look for the Sunstone. Leo, it's very dangerous to go to the Valley. <laughs> Guys, come on, try to understand. If I am the Chosen One, I have to talk to the Sun. Otherwise, summer will never come. Whether you're the Chosen One or not, this much, I know. We're not going to let you go alone. Yeah, Tig is right. We'll go with you. <laughs> no way. I'm not going to go in that water. Let me think. I'll come up with something. A raft? Wow, Cuba. You're a genius. Leo, what are you doing? Hop on the raft. You forget, Tig. I'm the chosen one. I have to find the sunstone by myself. Leo! Well, don't worry. I got this, guys. <laughs> we finally made it to the big swamp. I'm sure that this whole swamp is already frozen or something. Whoa! Maybe not. Leo, where are you going? I'm jumping over it. Leo, that's crazy. Come with us. It is safer together. Don't be afraid, guys. I'm the chosen one. I totally got this. Whew. If this so-called sunstone does not exist, you're giving me a piggy ride back. <laughs> uh. 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 Leo, uh. you might want to be careful. Uh. It's okay. I can do this. Uh. I am the chosen one. It's okay when you use teamwork and avoid taking unnecessary risks. Uh. 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 Leo, are you coming? Yeah. You guys taking a nap? Let's go. Uh. Uh. Okay. Now Leo will crawl up to his hunk of rock, say hello to the sun, and then we can go home. Hey, guys, what about the geysers? What about the geyser schmeisers? They won't stop us. Mama didn't say that they were hot. The Sunstone! Found it! Leo, wait for us! Ow! They're singeing my fur off! Leo, watch out! Jara, I'm the chosen one. I'll come up with something. Leo, you tried hard, but you see, there's no way to get through. Let's forget about the stone. Let's go home, okay? Uh, guys, you go. I'll catch up later. Oh, 
chosen one. I got this. I can do this. I'm sorry, Leo, but it seems even the chosen one can't do it by himself. But together, we got this. Come on, push! <laughs> 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 Do it! Leo, do it quickly. Ask the sun for some warmth. No, we should do it together. One, two, three. Hello! Hello. Excuse, Excuse me, sun. sun. More heat, pretty please. Be a pal, would you? Together, we just asked it nicely, and the sunshine came out. By the time we came back, everything already bloomed. Nicely done. It has indeed become much warmer. It was Leo's idea. <laughs> he suggested we go to the Sunstone. Thank you, friends. Without your help, I just couldn't have done it myself. Ah, kids. As they say, the one without friends is like a tree without roots. And always remember this. Two heads are better than one. Tig, let her play. And we'll get Martik on board. That's him in the grass. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old cedar, raise your voice. Martik, come join us. No, no can do. I've got pine cones to collect here. Why do you need so many, Martik? Well, it's for an important task. <sighs> Follow me, I'll show you. That's where our cedar pine grew. It burnt down. The spruce was here. Also burnt down. Yeah, the red deer spared no one. <laughs> and this is my home tree. Well, it was. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old cedar, raise your voice. Quiet branches, don't be loud. Mark to 
That our tree sang to me. This tree sang it? <laughs> it's true. I heard it in the rustle of the leaves. Martique, what do you need the pine cones for? What do you mean? For the seeds. I'll collect a big pile of them. Then I'll plant them, and our forest will grow big again. Then you should have said so. And you really shouldn't be making up singing trees. Cube, go on then. Get digging. We're planting a forest. Tig, wait. Do you know how long it will take them to grow? A century. There must be some faster way to do it. No, children. I don't know of a faster way. But I do know one legend. That was a long time ago. The tiger was visited by an enormous red deer and set the whole forest ablaze. The fire was so strong that even the spirit of the tiger himself got scared. The spirit hid in the last cone on the very top of the tallest cedar tree. The cedar started reaching for the sky to save the spirit of the tiger. The red deer couldn't reach the cone, and he retreated. The cedar opened the cone, its seeds were scattered, and wherever they hit the ground, a forest started to grow really fast. Because that cone had the magic power of the spirit of the tiger. Since then, the cedar has been here. They call it the Great Cedar because it saved the tiger. That's the story, kids. Wow, Mapa Pandiga, I thought it was called Great because it was really big. But as it turns out, it saved all of the tiger. Hmm. We must find a way to get to the highest cone. What if it's a magic one? Let's just plant regular seeds here. Tig is scared. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not scared. Tig, come on. We'll climb it somehow. That's what we have claws for. Huh? It might get windy. Uh, what we should do is get the cone by throwing a stone. Hey, guys, up there, look. <laughs> not far now. What do we do next, Leo? We'll scatter the seeds around from the top of the very tallest tree, like in the legend. That way, the seeds will be spread far and wide. The tallest tree here is my home tree. <laughs> ah! It's a monster! Uh -huh. Run! Uh -huh. Look out!
Mortique, why didn't you warn us about such a, such a... Uh, because it wasn't uh, there. It must have appeared because of the fire. Did you see how black it was? I did. That's because he must be an ash monster. And he's here because he doesn't want us to plant the magic cone's magic seeds. What do we do? Make it leave. Take that and that and no. there. Against such a big, strong monster, we don't stand a chance. But I've got a plan. Listen. Hey, monster! Look what I've got. It's a magic pine cone. If you want it, come and get it! <laughs> What? It's not magic. <laughs> and the magic cone goes to Martique. Martique, go on. <sighs> it's too high. Martique, be careful. <gasps> Someone's flying on a wing Mighty forest bright Who won't scare at night? Magic dreamland here awaits Don't be scared! It's the tree spirit! It's calling you with grace you know hear that? Listen, that's... We'll show you the pretty world. It's his lullaby. It is full of magic goods. It's all true. It's a singing tree. It's so beautiful. Hooray! Wow, beautiful. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> we did it, home tree. <laughs> the forest is alive again already. Yup, a miracle. <laughs> For all miracles are done by the power of love. And if you have a magical pine cone, that also helps. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger Patrol. Know what I was thinking, Leo? Ah, <sighs> how our dear Tiger is so fast and beautiful. Right you are, Tig. I've been wondering. There must be other countries. Of course there are, kids. Mapa Pandiga, can you tell us something about other countries? Oh, that's very interesting. Just for an example, there's a place where it never ever snows. <laughs> yeah, right. Next thing you know, you'll be telling us that striped deer live there too. <laughs> Do they ever? But there aren't deer. The horses. Listen here now. That land is called Africa. It's full of wondrous animals. A giant with a leg instead of a nose. A toothy lizard the size of a huge log. A beast with a neck so long that it can eat the leaves off the top of a tree. And although they look different, they are similar to us. Just like us, they are friends with each other. And they too love their land. Sometimes they get into trouble and so, I've heard that for times like that, they have a special team of heroes in Africa. They're called the Guardians. Should any animal need help, they come to the rescue. They are always ready to help. These Guardians are known around the world. Wow, it must be great to be a Guardian. 
I wish I were in that, what do you call it, Africa? I would love to be a guardian. Tig, we don't need Africa. Let's make a team of our own, right here, in the taiga. Wow, Leo, that's a really cool idea. Leo and Tig, guardians of the taiga. No, Tig, the guardians is taken. We have to call ourselves something else. Something for the taiga. Well, how about the taiga patrol? Ha! Awesome! The Tiger Patrol comes to the rescue! <laughs> I just can't! Spots and strikes down there! <laughs> the Tiger Patrol! <laughs> That's hilarious! <laughs> Enough! Just... just go away! No, 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 no! You'll fail anyways! You'll make fools of yourselves! <laughs> That's right, you'll fail! <laughs> Leo, so who are we gonna help first, huh? <laughs> Here you go, Mila. Oh, hi there, boys. Thank you so much. We're not boys, Mila. We're the Tiger Patrol, and you can let everyone know. Come on, Tig. Let's go see if someone else needs our help. Mr. Snake, except that we're, uh, not children. We are the Tiger Patrol. Look at them, huh? Soon everyone will be talking about these do-gooders. Let's just, let's just throw cones at them, huh? No way. I've got an even better idea. Come on, come on, left, good. Hello, Beaver Bro. Do you need any help? On your beaver river? Nah, no need, thank you. We can manage just fine. Goodbye. All right, Tiger Patrol. If we're not needed here, let's just go. Yeah, the Tiger Patrol. Well, now that changes everything. You put that log over there for me, please. <laughs> just be careful. <laughs> hey. Sound the alarm! Yeah, we've got a leak! Oh, my dear! How unfortunate! <laughs> Get lost, you! Get out! You were playing not a patrol! Uh, so you're the Tiger Patrol? Sure! Who else? I am so glad that you're here. Some wasps built a nest on our tree. Now we're afraid to go back to our hollow. Help us, please. Ha! Piece of cake. We'll move it for you, no problem. Ah! Save yourself! Somebody help! Please! Ah! Oh! My mistake. <laughs> Leo, isn't it great that we're the Tiger Patrol now? Nothing better than knowing the whole tiger respects you. Here, 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 and, and like that. Here. We'll help you, and we'll deliver it right to your burrow. <laughs> we are the Tiger Patrol. Ah! Ah! Help us! Help us! Ah! What's wrong? We just want to help you. The beavers and the squirrels. The wonders. The patrol is nothing but, 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 but trouble! Oh, help, help I'm us. confused. Help. Did we even help those squirrels? Tig, I think I know who's behind this. Uh, Spike, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Setting a trap. Spots and stripes will be passing here soon. And I've got a surprise for them. <laughs> Spike, Spike! Quiet! <laughs> I really set them up, eh? Now the name Tiger Patrol makes everyone run scared! <laughs> I knew it! You're just up to your old tricks again! And you are going to pay for this, you imposters! Ha! <laughs> I bet you can't catch us! 
<laughs> We've got to lead them to the trap. Hey, Spotty Patrol! You're gonna be banished from the tiger for good! That's it! You're gonna get it for good! <laughs> <laughs> you got caught in your own trap. <laughs> hey, patrol, are you there? Please help us. Pretty please. Oh, please. No way. <laughs> Stay there and think about what you've done. Hey, you can't leave. Don't go. Please come back. Oh, Mappa, nice to see you. We are the Tiger Patrol. <laughs> Heroes. Can you tell us where we can go to help somebody? I don't know, kids. Ah, maybe the spirit of the tiger will tell. He knows this forest well. How can he tell? <laughs> he doesn't even talk. Of course he talks to you. With signs, you just need to learn to see them. Someone out there needs us. Thank you, Mappa Pandiga. Tiger Patrol, to the rescue. Patrol, please, any patrol. Just get us out of here. <sighs> Who needs help here? Oh, I can't see you. We're, We're here. here. Help, help us. us. Quiet down, will you? We won't be able to hear. If anyone needs help... They are the ones who need saving. Who do? The Martins? But they're the ones who built this trap to capture us. And now we're supposed to just save them? Yeah, we want to do good deeds. And they just hurt everybody. Leaving someone in trouble. Ah, that's not a good deed. No, that's not what heroes huh? should do. Spike, why did you get in the way of Leo and Tig? Because everyone's talking and talking about them. Yes, that they're so kind. Yeah, so nice. We want praise. <laughs> I get it. Leo, Tig, why don't you put Spike and his brothers on your patrol? Mm, well, I don't know. Please take us on, and we'll be sure to behave. We, we promise. promise. All right, fine. You can join. <laughs> but only so we can keep an eye on them. Well done, children. All righty then, Tiger Patrol. Let's do it! Good deeds can't just go and do themselves. <laughs> That's what the spirit of the tiger says. <laughs> Real catch! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> uh, oh! Hey, Cuba! <laughs> catch! <laughs> Ew! Cuba, look! You're a real pig! <laughs> oh, Cuba! Stop rolling around! Let's play! Cuba in love. Cuba! What, you get stuck over there? <laughs> oh, look at that! A piggy! I haven't seen her before. I know her. I do. This is Lada. Her family just recently moved into our forest. <laughs> it looks like our Cuba has, you know, fallen in love. <laughs> <laughs> uh, love, 
love. I can see, my friend, that your heart was touched by a wonderful feeling. Why don't I tell you a love story? Once upon a time in the taiga, there lived a swan princess, a real beauty. She had three suitors. The first one dove to the bottom of the sea and got her all. Look how well I can dive. I am the very best. Well, the second one flew to the top of the highest mountain and brought from the peak a precious gem. Look how high I can fly, princess. It's me who's the best. Now the third swan started to think, what present should he give to the princess? Well, he flew far and wide in search of a worthy present. He almost gave up. But one day, while flying over a glade, he spotted a snowdrop. He gave the snowdrop to the princess and told her that only the first flower of spring was worthy of her beauty. And the princess made her choice. She gave her love to the third swan. Because unlike the other two, he was thinking about her and not himself. Eh? So what? I don't get it. Cuba's got to give the girl a snowdrop then? It's not snowdrop season. It's not about snowdrops. Don't be shy. All you have to do is go to your beloved and do something from the heart. <laughs> Cuba, wait! Legends are great, of course, uh, but you're, you know, no swan. You can't go meet her like that. I bet she won't even talk to you. Cuba, you're covered in mud from hooves to tail. Don't despair, Cuba. We can help you. I can't turn you into a swan, but a very handsome boar you could be, okay? That I can promise you. Cuba, hang on. Beauty always has a price. There you go, Cuba. Now you're the most handsome boar in the woods. Wait! We still aren't finished yet. Cuba, you're clean all right, but you're still... a little bit plain, you know? Don't you worry, buddy. Cuz we're gonna dress you up. <laughs> better now. As good as a swan. <laughs> Remember, you, sir, are the fanciest boar in all of the taiga. Now go! Set Cuba. Girls don't know anything about being beautiful. What if she's just not attracted to flashy looks? Right. How should we, I mean Cuba, try to win her over then? He should try to do something impressive. Heroic even. 
a feat. That's it. Cuba, how do you feel about fighting a wolf? How about crossing the rapids? Or would you... <sighs> jump across a huge gorge? <sighs> it won't work, Leo. Cuba is afraid of everything. That's fine. I've got an idea for you. Stay where you are, Piggy. I am going to eat you for lunch. Oh, no. It's a wolf. Let's run. Don't worry. Our Cuba, he's so brave, he'll beat any wolf. A whole pack of wolves. Oh, ow! Whoa, oh! Whoa, oh! I burped! Oh, oh. No, no! Lotta, stop! Oh. oh, it really hurts! Oh, you're a hero! Oh, oh, oh! Oops. I told you this wasn't going to work. Cuba. Who cares? She's just some girl. She is bound to like you, you know. You are so, so. Get away from me. Phew. Looks like we're too late. I don't get it. So what? Did Cuba chase the wolf away? You would have chickened out, I bet. What? No way. A wise man once said, be yourself and you'll find someone's heart will open to you. Sure will. And it will show you some of its snow magic. And we'll have the most amazing holiday! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right! Blizzard has better things to do than entertain us. 
Hey, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Very well. Let us just see who will be laughing tomorrow when we win the Christmas cup. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Winners. <laughs> As if they could win. We will roll you guys into the ice. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Children. You should be ashamed. Don't fight. All right, Martins. Let's go home. We need a nice sleep before tomorrow's victory. Tig, Spike is right. We also need to rest. What about Blizzard? Come on, you guys. We'll be okay. Christmas winners. I now declare the Christmas Tournament open! <laughs> <laughs> Let the cup go to the most worthy! Show them how it's done. The beavers don't stand a chance. We're playing to five points. Done, guys. And the team that makes the final is Leo and Tiggs. Not bad, not bad at all, Spotty. But you won't get so lucky when playing us. <laughs> First, you gotta win the game against the Lemmings. Right. See you in the finals. <laughs> See you later. Take this! Ugh. Miss me? Ugh. Miss me again! Ooh. Listen, why don't we go make our own snowman? That's right. That's right. When that blizzard will notice right away. Yeah, and then he'll show us snow magic. <laughs> <laughs> play rather well. Yeah, if you're a runner-up. <laughs> uh, 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 
Huh? What's going on? Calm down. Run and see what's going on there. We still got time. What did you do that for, kid? Well, we wanted to make a snowman for Blizzard so that we could see snow magic. If the snowball falls down, we won't see Blizzard or have a holiday. Yeah, or have holiday magic either. <laughs> We could go up and carefully dismantle it. Leo! The Martins beat the Lemmings. Come on, if we don't show up, they'll count it as our defeat. But what about Blizzard? And what about the snow magic? Is holiday canceled? <sighs> All right, Leo. Let's, you know, save the holiday. Right! Woo! Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazingly huge. Oh. 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 Tig, I have a plan. Was the strike of a true champion. Well done, Leo. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Thank you, children. <laughs> You've saved the holiday. You know, I never thought I would say it, but I gotta say, you've played really awesome. Great job. Congratulations to you, Leo and Tig. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he being so nice? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, let's have our celebration. 